dam digi digi dam digi dam 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 hello everybody you are waiting for me i could see that hi i am vasudha a storyteller trained from kathale i am going to tell you a few folk tales today what are these folk tales these folk tales were at least told to me by my grandparents and who told them these tales they were told to them by their parents and grandparents and how did it come to them through their parents and grandparents yes so today i'm going to take you to the tales which are coming to us from generations and one of the tale which is very near and dear to me which inspired me to become a storyteller is the one which i'm going to share first with you so get set get ready i'm also all set to tell you the folk tale so this story is called three dolls Mm. and because it is coming from generations to us you will be sure that this is going to be the time of kings queens prince princesses yes so this is about a king who was growing a little old and now he wanted to hand over his kingdom to his own son and he told son now it's time for you to get ready get set prepare yourself because you are going to be the next king and rule over the kingdom and remember my dear son my kingdom is very happy with me they know me as a good king i want you also to be known to be a good king because i inherited this from my father and now i want to hand it over to you and the prince was really happy he was thrilled on the news that he is going to be the next king he had been looking at his father servicing the whole kingdom yes he was studying he was preparing himself he was knowing about the weapons he was going out for trainings one day when he was sitting and meditating in his room the prince yes the father the present king came to his room and said my dear son i've got something for you the son was very excited to know what his father brought for him now father said i brought you these three dolls oh father i'm not grown up to play with the dolls no these are not the normal dolls these three are the special dolls which look alike but still they're different and these three when you find out the difference between these three dolls then will you know that you will know you will have to have these kind of special advisors and experts in your court oh father so you have given me a mystery to solve yes my dear son and also i give you a freedom that if you are not able to solve it take some help the son looked at the dolls the dolls were absolutely same same clothes same face same hands same hair everything was just the same he looked here he looked there he could not find any difference then he decided to send a letter to his very dear friend who was very intelligent and the friend came oh my dear friend can you help me find out the difference between these three dolls my father gave it to me and in very less than a week i'm going to be the king and my father told me to keep these kind of advisors and experts in my court and i'm not able to understand anything please my dear friend please can you help me the friend came down 
He sat down. He checked all the dolls. And he gave a big smile. You know what kind of a smile? When you find out an answer for a riddle. Yes, Prince said, oh, your smile tells me that you already have an answer. Yes, my dear friend. These, your father is right. These are the three experts you need in your court to solve any problem for your whole kingdom. Okay, so let me know what kind of advisors are these going to be? Okay, so the first one goes like this. If I put anything in one year, it doesn't come out from anywhere. This shows that whatever he will listen, he'll keep it to himself. He is going to be the wise advisor. He is going to be the intelligent advisor. He is going to keep all your secrets. Yes. And the second one? Oh, no. Oh. And the second one is going to be a little mischievous. Look at this. You say you tell something from the one year, and he's going to take out from the other one. He is going to do whatever he likes to do. You know, sometimes you need these kind of people to solve everything. Yes, it's not only every time the wisdom works, the mischief also works. And the third one, my dear, third one is very special. It's special to me also. Listen, the most lovely part of the story. If you put something in one ear, it comes out of the mouth. And it comes and it comes and it comes with the curls, with the curls, with the waves. And it comes and it comes. So what is this? Who is this? This is a storyteller. Yes. See, whatever the storyteller listens, retells it. But my dear friend, why did this stick have curly, whirly tail behind it? Here you get it. Because storytellers listen and then they add the curls and the twists and the turns and retell it in the most creative way to teach something, to entertain and to have a lot of fun. Not only for the children who are still growing, also for the children who have already grown up. So I'm sure for now, Everybody is listening to me, the children who are growing and the children who have already grown up. So now you know why is this story close to my heart? Because this tells me the love about a storyteller. This inspired me to become a storyteller. So here I am, Vasudha Ahuja, your storyteller of the day. Thank you. Hmm. So till now, you were listening to my secret inspiration, which was the story called Three Dolls, which tells about a storyteller and a very important advisor in the king's court. The prince was then happy to know about all his advisors and he appointed the best ones from his kingdom. And he was known again to be the best son of the best king and the best king once again. Uh, oh, yes, there is another story. I'm not going to go back finishing this story. I'm coming back with another one. 
because it's a folk tale and i love those kind of tales where there are kings and prince and princesses and queens so again i'm going to tell you a story a folk tale which has a king but this king is he keeps a secret and the secret is known to us again through a story so this king had a secret that whichever barber came to him never went back the king used to keep him in his own palace and never had sent him back yes in years king used to call a barber and that and never sent used to send that barber back home now this was quite famous in the kingdom and all the barbers was were a little scared i'm going to tell you the secret but wait for a bit but they were really like a bit scared and hesitant to go to the king but there was one smart barber in town baban who always boasted about himself and said i am not scared of going to the king and i'm the best one in the kingdom let the king call me he will have the time of his life and no 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 do you think he's going to keep me in his palace i am going to cleverly escape from there and come back what do you think i am a smarter one and he always used to even sing about himself बबन हजाम मैं हूँ बबन हजाम बबन हजाम मैं हूँ बबन हजाम अच्छा हजाम हूँ मैं अच्छा हजाम ओ यस यूज टू बोट बोस्ट अबाउट हिम सेल्फ दैट ही वॉज द बेस्ट बार्बर हजाम मीन्स द बार्बर यस द वन हु डज ऑल द मसाजेस हु डज nails cutting who does hajamat and the one who cut the hair so this baban hajam was really an expert now came the time of the year when king used to call a barber for himself he'd send his soldiers raja ko hajam chahiye ek acha hajam and with that announcement came a letter that letter read humne suna hai ki is jagah par isi gaon mein ek babban naam ka hajam rehta hai jo bahut hi hoshyar hai aur hamesha hamare yahan aana chahta hai yes that letter read that the king knew that news that there is a hajam a barber called babban and he was always eager to come to the king's palace and he was one of the best so with that announcement and with that letter babban was told to get ready he was very happy i am not scared of going to the king and i got the chance what i was waiting for i am just going to be ready and come here and go to the king wait for a minute let us see he's getting dressed with everything He has he wore his best turban and he was now ready to go and don't forget whenever he was excited he was very happy he never stopped singing and his favorite song was all about himself babban hajam main hu babban hajam children if you are enjoying that you can sing along with me babban hajam main hu babban hajam acha hajam hu main acha hajam tagda hajam hu main acha hajam ha and this way he he was singing and he was walking with the soldiers to the king's palace बबन हजाम हूँ मैं बबन हजाम 
राजा का महल आ चुका है वी हैव रीच द पैलेस यू बेटर गो एंड नॉक द डॉ Was was already he he wasn't scared at at all. He went and knocked at the king's door. King was silently sleeping in his room. He was in fact waiting for Babban. And as soon as he heard the knock, he acted as if he didn't know who was coming. कौन है मैं हूं बब्बन है जाम राजा जी I am बब्बन the barber, my dear king. and as the, as he enters as the guards open the door and he enters the king's room he said your majesty i'm right here and i want to be with you i want to be your favorite baba okay okay we'll see first we'll check you and then we decide that can you be my favorite baba and then it all started children We are nearing the secret, so hold yourself. अभी तो सिर्फ बबन पहुंचा है अभी सीक्रेट आएगा Yes. So he started massaging. Ah, ah, it was good. King was enjoying it. King said, Okay, okay, go slow, go slow, slowly. I, I hope, Your Majesty, you're liking the way I'm doing it. Yes, yes, it's nice. Go a little slow. Don't get over excited. Oh, I'll do it on your shoulders, also, King. You must be tired, no, King. I'll stretch your body. Okay, okay, okay. It's time to trim my nails. And then the trimming of the nails began. And then the mustaches, and then the beard, and then a little bit of oiling. and then the barber asked king can i do a little oiling and massage on your hair and coming out of your turban they look pretty long so i need to even cut them king said that is why i have called you what do you think hajam <laughs> said okay okay king okay uh king can you please take off your crown and the crown went and beneath the crown there was a turban he started opening the turban with the king's permission and the king said of course you will have to take off my turban and the babban hajam started be here with me till the time babban is opening the turban don't go anywhere Wait, wait, wait! It's opening. Wait, wait, wait! Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It's opening. It will open. It's still coming out. He's still unrolling it. कहीं जाना मत. अभी आ रहा है. अभी आ रहा है. He's opening. It seems like never-ending turban. Raja ji, you got pretty long turban. Don't 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 go go anywhere, don't go anywhere, I'm waiting time. Be with me. Ah! Yes, these were the expressions of Babin. Yes. The barber was horrified. Can you take a guess? What was the king's secret? I'm going to take a break. Yes, the king had horns on his head. The king had horns on his head. You got it right. 
This was the secret. This was the king's secret. And looking at the horns, Baban realized there and then that knowing this secret would never allow him to go back to his hometown. He will have to stay here in the palace with the king in one of the dark rooms maybe. Because nobody knew where were the barbers going, where were they staying. They were just horrified that might be the king has put them in a darker room in his palace. So he was scared too. Rajaji, my dear king, uh, uh, this uh, this is the secret. Yes, yes, this is a secret. I'm uh, king. I'm going to keep this secret, Your Majesty. I am not going to tell it to anybody, uh, Your Majesty. Your uh, yes, yes, I know. Your hands, your hands look quite good. He was fully confused. He was all shattered. He was terribly scared. He didn't know what he was talking. He didn't know what had to be done now. He just started nothing else but praying to the king. Oh, your majesty. I'll be the best barber. I'll be your favorite. But please, your majesty, don't keep me in your palace. Please, my family will be waiting for me. And he requested and requested and requested and requested. Now, he could not even sing that song of him. Baban hajam meo. It wasn't coming. <laughs> and the king said, no, Baban, I can't take that risk. I have never sent anybody knowing my secret back to their home. No, 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 no. And I cannot do it to you, Baban. Who never knows? You go and tell it to your neighbor. No, 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 Rajaji. No, not at all. To my neighbors, I will not even talk to them. Huh. How will you hide it from your wife? To my wife, but Rajaji, I don't tell her half of the things, whatever happened with me. About your secret, I will always keep mum, Rajaji. You might go and tell it to your friends. When you sit under that banyan tree, I know about you. No, no, Rajaji. What banyan tree? I will forget the banyan tree, Rajaji. No. He requested. Whatever the king said, he said, I will forget it. I will brainwash myself. I'll do whatever. But please send me back home. I keep this secret of yours. He said, okay, we'll see it later. First cut my hair. And I like you singing that song. Sing it. Hmm. The king looked good with a new haircut. But what happened to the Baba? Rajaji! And the king looked at himself in the mirror. He was very happy. He said, you're good. You look good. Your work is good. So what I think, I can spare you. I can send you back home. <laughs> Rajaji Sachi? Really? Am I allowed to go back home? Yes, but with a promise. That if the secret of mine comes out, I'm going to bring you back to the palace. And I'm going to keep you in a dark room. And you will not be treated well, you remember. <laughs> I will do anything for my life, Rajaji. Just send me back home. And also with a promise that every time I send my soldiers, you have to come back with them being my barber. I really like your work. Yes, yes, Rajaji. Happily, I'll be your barber. Every time you talk about every year, I'll come every month. And so this is how the barber went back to his hometown singing Baban Hajam, Mehu Baban Hajam.
and the days went by. He did not actually tell the secret to anybody. He kept it to himself. And after a few days, uh, there was some kind of noise in his stomach. Something wanted to come out. It was a secret. It was the same secret. He wanted to keep quiet, but it wanted to come out. He ran and ran and ran and ran and he ran to a forest. He looked here, he looked there, nobody was there, there were only trees, animals were also probably hiding themselves because he was running quite fast and he managed to stand near a tree, check the tree up and down and then the king has horns on his head, Raja Kisar perceiving him. secret was out to a tree. Oh, what a relief. All the stomach ache and all the rolling, all the bubbling went off. He went back home, he slept well. He woke up and he went to the king's palace. Everything was going fine till the day of the king's birthday came. It was a big day. It was King's birthday and he was all ready to celebrate it. This time he called Baban. My dear Baban, you have become a dear friend to me. This time I want to celebrate my birthday with you, with all your fellows, with your family. So bring Bring your friends, bring your family. We'll have a feast, we'll have music, we'll have a party. Oh yes, it was King's birthday. The day of the birthday arrived. Everybody was very happy. Palace was decorated. And in the village, everyone was trying to wear best of their clothes because they were going for the king's birthday party. It wasn't a joke. And the best of the musicians were called, the best of the cooks were called, the throne was decorated and the king was wearing his best of the jewel filled clothes. And there came the evening when everybody was just ready in the middle was the king. On one side were all the villagers, the friends to Baban and his special people. On one side were all the musicians set for the music and outside was a feast getting ready for everyone with some <laughs> delicious food. Yes, and then the king told the musicians to begin. Something happened. It began with the tabla. Tinakadinda. Da tinakadinda. Raja tinakadinda. Oh, what is that? Raja. Stop it. Play something else. Raja kisar par dhan dhan dhan. Raja has dhan dhan dhan. The king was not about to stop it and it went on on on. Raja the king has horns on his head. Raja the king has horns on his head. Raja kisar par singh hai. Raja the musical instruments were talking. They were just 
disclosing the king's secret one by one. Yes, Basuri, Tabla, Dholak, Sarangi, Harmonium, everything. And the king loudly asked them, who told you this? Can you hear that, Cleo? They all took one name, which was Baban Hajam. And he was the only one who knew the secret. Do you all think? He did that. He was shivering. No, 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 Raja Ji. I did not do it. No, Raja Ji. I'm sorry, Raja Ji. I did not do it. It is not my fault. It is not my fault at all, Raja Ji. I need not. Raja Ji did not believe him because he was the only one. He knew the secret. But Rajaji decided to call him and decided to ask him why his good friend, Baban the barber, did that. Now the whole village knew about the king's secret. Why, why did Baban do that? So the king decided to call him and ask him, Baban. You were a dear friend. Why did you do that? Baban said, no, Rajaji. I did not do that. I, I was getting an urge of telling my secret to somebody and I went and told it to the tree. Can anybody tell me? Oh. Then how was the secret out? Can anybody make a guess? I give you a moment to think about that. You remember that tree? Do you all remember that tree? Yes, yes. The same tree where Baban went and told his secret to. What happened that day? That night, when Baban went and told tree the secret, the other morning, The tree cutter came and had cut the tree into pieces. It had best of the woods or the musical instruments. And that wood went to the carpenter who was an expert in making musical instruments. And when that expert made all these musical instruments, they were the part of the tree who knew the secret. And yes, this is how they disclosed it in the whole party in front of all the villagers. But wait, listen, something good is going to happen now. As soon as the king and the Baban realized it, Baban was left. And now king had to face all the people in his kingdom who were actually looking at him. And the king got angry. He got impatient. He took off his throne. He took off his turban. And he told everybody, yes, look, I have horns. I have horns on my head. And then you know what happened? All the people who were present there, stood up. They told King, our dear majesty, Hamare Pyare Raja Ji, we love you the way you are. You look so good with these horns too. These horns are not changing your heart. You take care of us. You take care of every problem happening in the kingdom. You have been so kind to all of us. 
you have been helping us you have been sending best of the people to help and look at us in the villages around how can you be so conscious for only having horns on your head no king one set two set three set four set and it went on and on and on raja ji you are the best yes our majesty you are the best these these horns are not a problem you are too good you are best of the kings we love you the way you are yes raja ji we love you the way you are raja ki jai raja ki jai raja ki jai and yes it went on and on and on and on and on the king was so happy even my horns have not changed anything even my secret knowing my secret in the whole kingdom has not changed anything i am good the way i am everybody loves loves me the way i am and you know after that day the king never won a turban he just won his crown and he displayed his horns well behind them and he was more happy he was more confident he became more nice he was the best one and who changed this for the king in a way babban hajam ha bhai babban hajam babban hajam bhaiya babban hajam babban hajam yahi hai babban hajam yes babban hajam this one babban hajam so yes did you see that how did a barber made a difference in the king's life that king was so upset with his horns just because they looked different and nobody else had it he never thought it was a unique quality and sometimes it happens with all of us sometimes we have something which is quite unique and different but we stop stop liking it and we don't think it's a good difference so when babbar made the king realize that it's a good difference you look good anyways this is the way we should make ourselves realize we are the best as we are yes so here i give a big hug to myself and i tell myself i love you and i want everybody out there who are listening to me just give a big hug to yourself and tell yourself that you love yourself yes this is going to change something in you i'm sure like that king so here i am vasudha uja signing off with the story of today and singing that once again if you all like that sing it with me babban hajam ha bhai babban hajam babban hajam ha bhai babban hajam and also keep adding music to your life just the way story adds yes so did you see a small rhythm a small music adds so much to your fun and excitement that is how i begin with dum digi digi dum digi dum 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 digi digi dum digi dum dum everybody keep enjoy with your yourself like the way you are and keep singing dum digi digi dum digi dum dum dam digi digi dam digi dam 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 digi digi dam digi dam 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 digi digi dam digi dam dam thank you